Hello everyone, welcome to studygan.com. In this video, we will be learning how to install Fedora in a virtual box on Windows. This is a step-by-step -step guide to installing a Fedora 2024 on virtual box. Watch this video till the end and learn how to install Fedora in a virtual box on Windows. But without further delay, let's get started. You must have enabled hardware virtualization on your PC. So let's go to the task manager and you can see here performance here virtualization enabled now by default this feature is enabled and allows you to run and test any operating system in a virtual environment if it's not enabled you need to check the bios setting and turn on hardware virtualization once it is enabled you can verify the status using the windows task manager so now let's download the virtual box let's go to the browser here and search virtual box it is the official website from the Oracle. Let's click on it. Now you can see this kind of interface. Let's go to the downloads here. Here you can see the all host are there Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Solaris. So I have Windows. Let's go to it. You can see it's asking for the location. Let's save it here and go to the downloads. Here you can see the download is completed. Now click to open it. Preparing. This is the setup wizard. Click to the next. It is the custom setup. Select the way you want features to be installed. Let it be default. And here is the location where all files, virtual books are stored. Let's click to the next. Proceed with the installation now. Yes. Proceed with the installation. Yes. Click install to begin the installation. Please wait while here. After the installing of VirtualBox, let's go to the download the VirtualBox Edition Pack. Let's go to the browser and search VirtualBox. Here you can see the extension pack. Let's download it. Save it. Now download the Fedora. Search the Fedora in the Google. And here is the official website. Let's click it. You can see here 39. Let's click on it. You can see here Fedora Workstation, Fedora Server, and Fedora IoT. Let's download the workstation here. Now scroll down. Here you can see the Intel and AMD 64 and ARM Power. I have the Intel, so download the ISO file. Here you can see the Fedora Workstation ISO file, disk image, save it here. Go to the downloads. You can see it is around 2 GB. I have already downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel it. Now install the VirtualBox extension pack. Click to open it. You can see the install. Accept the license. Yes. Here you can see install package bar. Now it is installed. So here is the kind of interface of the virtual box. We are here to create the virtual machine for the Fedora. Let's click on the new and type here name fedora here is the virtual box folder where all files are stored here is the iso image select it locate the ram and the virtual cpu count let's drag it to the green make sure it within the green and let's give the cpu core 3 click to the next here is the virtual disk it is around 15 gb so let it be all default and click to the next here you can see the machine name summary go to the settings now here you can see the journal go to the advanced make sure the shared clipboard is directional and drag and drop is also bidirectional go to the system here is the 4 GB of RAM and uncheck the floppy make sure it all default go to the display maximize the video memory 
enable the 3d acceleration for the 3d graphics go to the storage audio network here is the network adapter it all be default and click to the ok and now start the vm select language select installation destination select hard disk time and date anywhere in the india we begin installation wait for a while here now after the installation let's power off the machine now go to the settings storage and now select the disk icon now remove disk from virtual drive ok then start start setup follow the all instructions now here is the fedora operating system no thanks go to the view and make it full screen now here is the whole fedora operating system and you can see here applications so this is all for the video thanks for watching